Yes, Alright, we are here. Alright, this thing looks nice. I, um, I don't know your son. I said, said something about unlocking the building right there. Mm -hmm. 16 inch on center. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty solid. Of course, you're always going to get this kind of noise on a mobile home 16 i like the 16 on center oh well, this one's been leaking had some issues good morning looks good though this one here has two sections a little bit different okay a little bit different All here right. step down and I'll tell you what we're going to do here. So what I do when I run into something like this. I'm going to take a piece of plywood. And put it on from the top and let it come down all the way to the trailer. So we'll plow with this first. Plywood up under. Plywood down to it. And that will make our transition. For a rubber here. A rubber there. And then we have to box in a little corner right there. We've done these before. This isn't the first one we've seen like this. Matter of fact, the one we did was right near our house. For Van Sang. So if you want to know how to do rubber roof on your mobile home, I don't think there's many people doing what I'm doing, so you got to get on there and see my videos, obviously. Way we go. All right, way we go. Got Billy up here doing his thing, marking all the rafters. 16 on centers. We got to figure out about this light here, real quick. So he's marking all out. These are the rafters. This is what you pop your lines to. I'm gonna go over here and start on this side. You can fill them with your feet. And you want to stand on them anyway. You don't want to walk out here in the middle where the seams can be broken. Something like that right there. That's all you need. Find out where you're going to be close. Start poking holes. That thing's here somewhere. It's right there. So I'm on the edge. Feel it. Scratch it. That's the center. Do that all the way down. All right, looking good. What? Over there? No. I'm not going to the other side. Oh, that we open that up. And cut it open. Yeah. Waiting for the scissors. Waiting for the snips. Oh, that light fixture is on that section. Yeah, we'll cut it open and see what's. I know what's here. We just got to see what's in the middle here. Seems like there's a one by four here. Maybe a one by four here. Possibly one over there. I'm not sure. But I definitely see something rising up through this middle right here. Not a one by four up through there. It's just a rafter, rafter, rafter. Look like it. There's nothing up through this middle. Rafter to rafter. The only thing we got is right here. Something under here is solid. No, that's a one by four under there. No doubt about it. Piece of plywood. It's gotta be a piece of plywood. Popping lines, popping lines. The reason why we pop these lines again, so that you know, is our plywood is gonna go line to line. So once you get your lines on the roof, you can measure from line to line. That tells you how long your plywood is gonna be. 
Is there a wire over there? Yeah. Yeah, for the light. Where is it? On the bottom. On the bottom of the, or top of the ceiling ramp. Always, always want to look for hole, for uh, power. That's what we're doing here. We do not want to run into power on the roof. Under your foot. I can see two holes. I don't look like there's one there. Got to be. On this hole. Why not? I'm saying, there's a hole here, a hole here, so it's in the center. Okay. What are you talking about? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You're losing me. Got 220. Huh? 220. Where? Yeah. Holy shit. Right in the bottom. It's low. Yep. Yeah. 220 wire. Around 4 feet low. So I always look for that kind of stuff. Cut holes. I want to see where the wires are down there. We don't want to run into any wires. Yeah, they cover up all kinds of stuff on mobile homes. Come over forty six and three quarters. Come down nineteen. Your wall is going to be 80 inch. Now, make it a. Hold on one second. Double check it down. Yes, sir. This way, this way. Not on it? No, I'm right beside of it. I don't need to go back. Put 93 and a half. Muggy, huh, Bill? Very muggy. Yes, sir. Which one? That you got in the
Yep. Come to me. I'm coming to mine. Yep. Uh, above it. I hate to have a piece come across here and be messed up. No, it's going to be right across the top of it. Okay. Hey Chris, my next one. and a half. You can tell if it doesn't hit anything. It'll just spin. You want it to hit. That's gonna have a turn in, I got to cut this end. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be open over here. Take some off of here, watch. Boy, yeah. seven and a half. I take that. Hey, Siri, where am I? You're at 5,028 to 5,118 Farnham Creek Road, Farnham, Virginia. Farnham, Virginia. Hey, Chris. Hey, Siri, tell all my friends I said hello. Oh, 
What is your friend's name? Chris Watson. We ought to finish it tomorrow. Oh yeah, I need to know. Sure. Yeah, no. I'm gonna get a five wood and two boards on it today. Get it done, more. Face your boys. Face your boys. And grow it. Don't break them off. It's gonna rain in a couple hours. Yeah. I think we'll be able to leave that alone. Put two boards on this. Oh, yeah? Rubber it. Oh, yeah? Why not? Mm -hmm. Leave that for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Put two before's on this. Okay. Put some rubber up here. If we have time to glue it down, we'll glue it down. Yeah. Put metal on the bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we did the other time. Mm -hmm. Worked out fine. That's fine. That way it'll be done, you know? Yeah, right. I do that. We should easily be able to get two before's and rubber on there. If I can get my butt moving again. <laughs> struggling a little bit. I wasn't gonna say that. I'm struggling a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm not saying I ain't I am. I tell you. I forgot my medication this morning for one. Yeah, right? And it's hot. You got my rip, Chris? <laughs> hey. We just probably wouldn't just oh, mess with the rain Yeah, we're not gonna do that side over there. We're just gonna put two by fours on this, put rubber on it. Right, Glue it down. Uh, no. we'll do this top section, be done with it. That way all that will be left on this is uh turn bar. Metal turn bar. Yeah, metal and turn bar, and then that little piece down there. I mean I'll do whatever you think's best, you know what I mean? Well, lane -wise, <laughs> You know we had this giant covered up. I'm talking about. Won't take long to put plywood on that little piece down there. No, it's uh, fucking 15 foot. What? I said it won't take long to put plywood on that piece down there. About seven pieces. Well, if we put plywood on that, we take a chance to water getting that's, down there that's what right. i'm worried about i mean i know it's gonna rain tonight this here, yeah, plywood or two before get the rubber up there and if we have time to glue it down great if we don't if we is don't what it get is. it glued yeah. down so be it hey chris i don't want to have did you so it ain't great 83 and three quarters We got it. Not a problem. How how long is that down there? Fifteen foot. Huh? Fifteen foot. Fifteen? Over there? Yeah. Yeah, fifteen long. All right, Paul. I just need some screws. Yeah. Yep, looks good. All right, everybody, I'm going around here. Just starting a screw here and there. Every couple feet, I'll run one down through here. So that when we hang our two by four, it's basically ready. So I'm just taking these inch and a quarter, inch and five eighths screws. These are deck screws. Exterior deck screws, I buy them at Lowe's. You can buy them anywhere. 
What? Okay. Okay. On that curve? Yeah, yeah. You don't kill the five weeks back. Right. Okay, buddy. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm just getting screws started all around the edges. I have no idea what you're seeing in this camera, obviously. But I'm putting screws around the edge. This is the overhang. So we can add our two by fours to it. And I'm just getting a few started when we hold that two before up there. There's a few in there ready to go. That's all I'm doing. Getting the rubber back out of the way because it's not glued down yet. The, the way we like to do it, we like to uh, put our fascia board on before we glue it down. That way the fascia is not in the way. Fascia. I'm just getting a few screws started. So when they slam them two by fours up there, they just screw, 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 and I'll come behind them, filling it in. Do whatever you got to do to keep moving. Move, move, move. If you stop on this, you don't make no time. No. There's no money in sitting around. So if you guys aren't kicking butt, Switch guys. There's got to be a better crew. Some metal splinter and the end of my finger fuck drive me crazy. Every time I grab a screw. Good morning. Good morning. Boy, it rained like crazy, didn't it? No? Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Way to do it, huh? On these ends out here, if you use screws, there's a curve. We're trying to pull that two before up to the curve and make it touch the plywood. So, for a long time, we've been using longer screws, doing all kinds of stuff just to try to get it as tight as we could. Excuse me. Actually, on the last job, or maybe the one before that, Paul decided to try using ridge vent screws. Just to galvanize the nail. And uh, what happens with the screws is the screw wants to pull through the plywood because it's so much force. But using the nails, it doesn't pull through, right, Paul? It doesn't pull through. It just pulls it up. Oh, that's beautiful. Put a nail about every three inches. Very 
very nice guys very nice I like it okay. try to make something better every time we do it and if three inch nails works do it adapt and overcome well, I say that a lot that's the way it works I'm gonna go start making some marks on that other end. Poking holes and getting it ready for plywood. Popping lines. All you gotta do is keep going. Um, did I? The other side? Perfect. Yeah. And that's how it's done. Yeah, take a three-inch screw and pull that, pull that back. And that, yeah, that would be beautiful. And that's how it's done, guys. Make sure the outside lines up with the plywood. All them screws I just went down there and put in. Billy's going to knock them out. And then we'll come back and fill them in. Can you give me a three-inch right here? I got it right here. Need a screw? Yeah. Coming up. And a drill? Yeah. I got a drill right here. Mr. Sir? Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you. And that's the way it's done. Mm-hmm. Thank you for doing that is the way it's done. That coal stalk on the other side is white. This side's brown. It comes two feet by 50 foot by that Lowe's Home Depot. Coil stalk. Yes, sir. I could. It came inside. Can't use the same hole. Beautiful. Beautiful. Done deal. And then, uh, my screw gun, I'll go in and fill them in. it all the way down. You do not want anything changing or moving. Once you get this on, screws are great. I love them. Don't don't pull the screws all the way through. Just like sheetrock, you want them just below the surface. Moving right along. Need another screw? Nice. Go up. 
They go up? No. Give me a small Not all the way. Give me a small speed, baby. Inch and five eight. Remember that metal will come up, cover most of that. Yeah. We're a half inch below. As far as it's gonna go, it's beautiful. Time you put your metal, that's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, we'll yeah more tight there. Yeah, tight. Tight as we can get it. All right, looking good. Looking real good. What you need, Bill? Long one? Here you go, bro. Yeah, I need a long one over there. There you go. And a short one. And a hammer. Hold on, Bill. Hold on, Bill. Yeah. These are all good? Didn't go in. Just been screwed already. Well, I had a little bit where it was rising. Gotcha. Now that feels good right Here. No. I want to put it back here. Yep. Anyway, come straight down. We might have to cut some of that gutter. Oh yeah. yeah. Off. Yeah. You always seen that. We do that with steps. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You can do that and then put a little block in there, right? Well, if we get this one piece I hit down, touch this one. I don't have to worry about none of this. When I put that metal up there, my box and everything will kill out right it there. It will. I think that brown would look real good on that. Ask her what? Oh, she's not here. Yeah, it's got a, got a brown trim on it. Yeah, but that brown is, uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I'm going with white. I'm going with white. I'm not a fan of that chocolate. I mean, either way, you can go brown, which is smooth, or you can go textured on the other side, which is white. I'm just... I'm I'm a fan of the white one. I have had what, what where was that uh Murphy you guys put brown? West Virginia. West Virginia? Yes, sir. Brown. Hey, West Virginia guy. He loved it, I know. He's a smoker and he's a toker. And he's a midnight stroker. You have to tell me the rest. <laughs> yes, sir. Come again? Yeah, we'll go with two by two. Oh yeah? yeah? As long as it's got a good battery in it. We ain't got much for batteries right now. Beautiful thing. I love battery operated mechanical monopoly. Nothing like it. Three years old, still cooking people. Three years old. Damn, that's about the longest damn tool I've had. Sawzalls break down pretty good. I've replaced quite a few drills, but I tell you what, we go through hell with them. 
Let's get back over here. We ain't too far away from putting some metal up here, Chris. Getting close, brother, getting close. Get that rubber down. This 60 mil will be amazing when it gets glued down. It just, it's so straight, so flat, so thick. This is a 60 mil EPDM. Esther Patrick Daniel Mary EPDM. This is some thick stuff. 60 mil. I usually use uh, 045. It's a little bit cheaper, a little bit less heavy. I think it's really sufficient. Uh, this roll here I actually got from ABC Supply, which is where I buy my materials. Just about 100%. Shingles, rubber equipment ladder lifts ladders whatever I mean, you can buy the abc supply a lot of people do cool seal on their roof i don't like it i would rather go with the two-step hydro stock but this rubber here if you do go with that this rubber here is amazing and what happened was i ordered a 045 and he didn't have it he had a 60 so he i do a lot of business there he gave it to me for the same price so this customer in virginia gets 60 mil rubber for the price of 045 thank you to bobby at abc supply thank you bobby i mean i'd use it on all of them but uh it adds about four five hundred dollars to the price some people just don't want to go up the extra four or five hundred they figure 45 will do it they, they're good with 45 it's like some people with a um look at it. chris got his all his stuff laid out some people with a shingle they're like i'm not even going to be alive and 30 years so why do i want a 30 year single well they don't really last 30 years that's a kind of a warranty but they will last longer than the 20 year single so i always recommend with a 30 year single i, I like also like the duration i don't know if anybody knows owen's corn and duration but it is a really nice shingle <coughs> but um anyway just going off on a tangent Billy's finishing off the screwing. Paul and Chris working on getting this last part of it ready for metal. As soon as they get that ready, we're all going to jump in on the metal uh, flashing, which is Chris's getting laid out now. I had one person tell me that they liked the longer format on my videos. Shows a little bit more of everything. Sometimes I'm not really doing anything but walking around, but hope it helps you and gives you a good idea of what's going on. If I had a mobile home, this is this is really what I want on my roof. What's the matter, Chris? Different, different color on the inside. Color. Thank God we went with the white. Huh? You are? Thank God we went with the white. Yeah. We'll be heading to a get a roll right now. All right. This is coming along. A little bit of tedious stuff going on right now, but we're knocking them little tedious pieces out once we get that going it's gonna be rock and roll again <laughs> 